Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today's review is a little bit different. Uh, it's not about the watches that you see here, but actually what they're wearing. These lovely straps. The reason I wanted to make this review about leather straps uh, is because personally I find uh, it quite difficult to find the right strap for my watches. Uh, I am very particular uh, in what I'm looking for and I actually believe that I might have found, in my personal opinion, um, just the perfect straps for these watches. I'll run through uh, the companies that make them, uh, where I got them from and the price range. So let's begin. So let's start with the Seiko Passage. I have featured this watch uh, in, a, in, in another video and that had a stainless steel bracelet. Um, and I think dress watches, they depending on what they look like, obviously, nine out of 10 times they look better on a leather strap. Now for this, I had particular difficulty finding a leather strap that did suit this. Um, I had the crocodile skin versions. I had in the, in the light tan color. It didn't really suit it because the face uh, is quite dark. It suits the, the white dial perfectly, uh, the tan color leather. And then I tried a black one, just didn't feel right for me. Obviously, I'm talking about something which is highly subjective anyway. Um, so this might not be everyone's cup of tea. But for me, I think this strap that I bought from eBay complements this perfectly. It's a contemporary looking leather strap. Um, and what I mean by that is it's very uniform in the grain. So it's not like a vintage looking strap. It comes with really neat hand stitching, nice clasp, nothing fancy really. Uh, it's got the company logo on the back, full Mosa. And it's got these nice little slits for, for the clasp to fit into. I thought I'd add a picture of how the watch band came as I'll be talking about it a bit later. Really nice strap, very comfortable uh, and really soft, soft leather. And this is actually quite a premium product. When they shipped out to me, um, they gave me a nice box that was made for the watch and it had a plastic insert in there. So the straps come placed in the inserts and they also give you a pin removal tool, which is, I believe for your previous strap because these pins are the bolt action pins very very easy to take your strap on and off and i think you know a lot more well all of the straps should come with these style pins it literally shaves so much time off changing the bracelet and sometimes as many of you know you end up fighting with your strap um trying to take it off but this makes it really easy and obviously prevents the damage you get on your logs um from trying to get your straps uh, sorry your pins in so shout out to Fulmosa. They do a range of styles, range of colors. Um, please check them out. What I found on eBay, they're, they're a bit more expensive on eBay. I don't know why. Um, but on Amazon, they're fairly priced. You're looking around 10 to 13 pound, if I'm not mistaken. Whereas on eBay, I actually paid 20 pound for this. So I could have saved some money if I did some research. But that's it. When it comes to straps, you don't know, you know, what companies to look for. But I don't know anyway. I know a lot of people go for the established names like um, Watch Gecko, Miltat for bracelets, and Gekota, I think. But there's another one out there. I don't know if people know about them. So, yeah. Nice. And I think it fits this watch perfectly. Really contemporary, stylish look. Can't wait to wear this out and about. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now, these two straps um, that you see here, I got from the same um, seller, and these are from AliExpress. The company is called Makes, and they do a type of leather which I absolutely love. And I think it's just perfect for these vintage style watches. Uh, and they do this really um, like discolored leather, almost like patinaed in a way, vintage looking. Uh, and I believe they call this leather is like waxed or oiled leather. 
where it's like skin so if i were to like press down on this you'd see the color change slightly so it does look faded in some parts and this is their light black color and i just love how it makes the watch look So you can see these wear marks here and obviously i only bought this watch once since i put the strap on and i really like how it looks aged and it wrinkles up it makes that strap so unique it's got again nice holes nice wide holes a very sturdy clasp and a solid pin here again very sturdy you see the thickness on that you know this is it's not flimsy and what you do find if you buy the cheaper straps on like eBay, um, you know, they've got flimsy attachments on there uh, and they start cracking and tearing after a couple of weeks of wear. So yeah, try this company on AliExpress. I'll put the link in the description. Obviously wait time is an issue. Um, two weeks, not bad from China. Um, price, you're looking at uh, just under £10.50 which is, I think is brilliant. It's, it's a real bargain at that. Really nice contrast stitching. I believe this is like a sort of beige, beige stitching. And I wonder if you can see in the video. It's just perfect. And I think this leather, it reminds me of, uh, you know, the old British Chesterfield sofas. And, you know, you can imagine yourself sitting on a leather sofa like this, wearing your vintage watch. Um, smoking a Cuban cigar with your smoking jacket. This is having a nice time. Right. Move on to the next one. This, I think, just looks perfect. Same company, just a different colour. And you can see, I actually really, really love this kind of leather. Uh, I think it's full of character, it's very unique. So you can see here, so just like skin, if I were to press this, see how it changes and it responds to you moving the watch. And absolutely perfect for the Alpinist. This is actually better in my opinion to the original Seiko uh, leather strap they give. I think that crocodile pattern is sort of played out and because you've got so much like cheap crocodile pattern straps out there, it does take away from a genuine one. It, I mean, again, these old subjective things that I'm saying, so. Yeah. Lovely. Again, a very vintage look. There's almost like, it's got this patina on it. It's dark. And then it lightens up. And it gives you this worn, uh, vintage character. You know, it makes it look like your watch has got a story with it. And it gives it a very personal touch. And with this Alpinist, to me, it looks like a granddad watch. And I believe this leather strap gives it that granddad watch look. And it just completes it. For £10, you can't complain. Believe me, you cannot complain at all. Obviously, the waiting time. But if you can, if you've got the patience, then by all means... Go on this store, check them out. They've got a, a, a range of different styles as well. And they've got your rally style um, leather straps with the, the bigger holes cut out here. They've got thicker straps. I mean, this is only a 20 mil width and it looks quite decent. Slight padding on there as well. But I've actually placed another order after these came. I bought, uh, I've ordered a 24 mil um, and a 22 mil, but in the khaki color. So they do a range of colors. They do... Um, a lovely blue, dark blue. They do a khaki green and they do a deep red, like oxblood red. And what's the other color? Yeah, and they do a tan, something lighter than this. So it looks very expensive actually, but it isn't. So let me know what you think guys, leave your comments uh, below, please subscribe if you like the content so far and thank you for tuning in.